the lowest places in hell would be reserved for those who commit cruelty to our animals. I'm Wayne Paselli with the Humane Society of the United States. Behind me are law enforcement vehicles from the county sheriff's office. There are FBI personnel here as well. We also have a, a number of our major vehicles. You know, I as well as my colleagues have been working uh, with many of the individuals here for almost three years that ultimately led to more than 360 animals being spared the life of suffering at the end of a chain or at the hands of somebody in a bloody pit uh, where they'd ultimately lose their lives. It takes a multitude of resources, individuals who are committed to ensuring that this type of activity within our society is not acceptable, ensuring that it is investigated and prosecuted. If you're going to do the crime, we're going to come see you. We're going to get you sooner or later. The only way it happens is our members support us. We are not government funded. We are supported by people like you, people who want to stop cruelty and want to deliver animals into safe arms and homes. That's what we're doing. Thank you so much for allowing it to occur. But at the end result, I'll just tell you this. This is one sheriff. It's happy, happy, happy. The bad days of humanity for them are, are, are past them. Now they're in our arms, and we're going to do our best to make sure all of them are protected, and we're going to cooperate with the prosecutors and law enforcement to make sure that the people who are involved in cruelty are brought to justice.